Yo family, what's good? It's your guy Mac the Rebel back with another video for you today on this beautiful, beautiful morning in Washington, D.C. Listen, family, I have finally been able to sit down, take a breather, take a break and get back onto the channel to give you guys some premium content. As you can see, shooting on a new camera. So hopefully the footage looks way better than what we were shooting on previously. It's got the mic set now, so hopefully the audio sounds a little bit clearer. And if it doesn't, let me know in the comment section so we can get this thing right finally been able to move into my new apartment i have finally been able to get set up get everything going so it is time to finally bring you guys that energy and let us go ahead and get into some more sneaker content yes i have been away i got some new balances i got some jordans but for many of you out there know that my all-time favorite basketball player is alan iverson and so when reebok announces that they have a reebok question or a reebok answer coming out i'm literally glued to the sneaker blogs, the vlogs, the, the Reebok announcement page, the emails, I am glued to it all. And when I found out that they, they were doing a collab with Panini, something told me that there was gonna be something special about these releases. Now, I'm not quite in the Reebok circle to be blessed with the friends and family pair, but there is a Reebok question that came out in the Panini pack that really caught my eye. And we are gonna go ahead and get into today's discussion of the Reebok question OG. Panini. time that it is okay to look at shoes that aren't quite the most hype or the most, you know, the, the one that everybody, little Pookie, little Ray Ray and their mom is going to wear, family, and that is okay. The question holds a, a little bit more of a special place in my heart. One, like I said earlier, Allen Iverson is my all-time favorite basketball player. I actually love the cushioning of the Reebok question. I love the Hexalite technology that is in the bottom of the shoe. And honestly, love when Reebok decides to throw a little extra detail in their shoes and they went crazy with this black pair. This one actually is a lot more limited than the Tiger Prism, as well as the blue Panini leather one that came out as well. The black pair represents Allen Iverson's rookie year. He averaged 23 and a half points per game as a rookie in the NBA for the Philadelphia 76ers. And so this specific shoe pays tribute to that. Now, with only a limited run of 2,350 pairs for the black pair, this is, to me, if you are a question collector or Reebok collector, or maybe you're just an Allen Iverson fan like myself. Personally, this is a shoe that I would personally try to get my hands on the most. Just because the other two aren't limited, from what I understand, this one is. Only 2,350 pairs, and they are individually numbered, come with a ton of details, which we are going to go ahead and get into. The first thing that you are going to notice, family, about this shoe is the incredible details that you see on the upper. So not only do you have a premium suede texture going all around the base layer of the upper, but then on the top part, you have a almost like an iridescent premium leather upper right here representing Panini's touch on the shoe as well. So I think that's probably the flyest detail of the shoe because not only does this thing go crazy in the sunlight, but it's just a really clean shoe to wear, whether you're gonna wear it to a basketball game where you're actually gonna hoop in them, you're gonna wear it on the court or whatever the case may be. This this is a really fire shoe to wear. Not only do we have that premium suede upper on the bottom layer of the upper, but we also have this leather right here. We have gray Reebok logo stitched in on the side. And I love hang charms on shoes, man. I really do. And this one right here actually pays tribute to AI's Tom as a rookie in the league. Outside piece of the charm, it says rookie shoe. On the inside, it says it has the Reebok question logo. Then it says Panini. And then it has the number three. Three. I've been living under a rock. You don't know who Alan Iverson is. He wore number three. <laughs> now, no difference from the left shoe or the right shoe. There's not like special details on one and then there's something else on the other. Overall, the shoe is just flat out amazing, family. It does come with an extra set of laces in white. Me personally, we're keeping it with the black pair. Sorry, got to. I mean, that tongue, that just overall black detail just really looks good on this shoe. And then on the lace holes, you do have like iridescent type of coloring going on the shoe to give it even more pop and even more touch. And then 
then you have a mesh tongue going all the way around the shoe. On the back right here, you will see Reebok, Prism, and Panini collaborating on the back heel of the shoe for logo branding. And then on the side where the Hexalite logos are on the midsole of the shoe, they're actually covered as if they are a trading card. Now, I do not believe these detach. I thought maybe it was like a trading card where you can actually rip the plastic and the card will show itself, but it looks like these are actually glued in pretty well. Now, if you decide to cut yours and they come off, let me know in the comment section because I'm not doing that to mine. I actually like this more, you know, flashy aluminum look to the shoe. So for me, I'm going to keep it just like this. The cool thing about it, man, suede tongue, as you guys can see, and we do have Panini logo branding right here. These shoes really are individually numbered. And so for me, I actually have number 583 out of 2350. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and just double up on these two just because I can have one to beat the heck out of and then one to maybe just keep dead stock for a little while and just wear occasionally. Really, really clean shoe family. I love the white base layer for the outer sole. You have AI's name right there on the back of the shoe. Of course, we already talked about the Prism Reebok branding right there on the back. And yeah, and then on the interior, it does say Panini right there on the inner sole of the shoe as well, family. Now, on the left shoe, the one that doesn't have all the hang charms and all that. Yep, so individually numbered on both shoes. All right, right there on the tongue, 583 out of 2350. And then, of course, that Panini logo branding. Same exact details on the shoe. Allen Iverson's name on the back of the bottom of the shoe as well. Let's see, what else do we have on here? Yep, and then on the left shoe, it's just the hang tag. Just giving you some general information, family. So this is a size 12. Yes, definitely staying in the collection for the toe, man. This shoe isn't going anywhere. Like, I love this shoe. And if you're sleeping on it, why? Why sleep on it? Individually numbered. I bought this shoe without even knowing that it was only limited to 2,350 pairs. Personally, I didn't care how many pairs there were. I didn't care if there was 2 million pairs of this shoe. I was gonna buy it anyway, just for the simple fact that I love Reebok questions. But to find out that I'm literally one of 2,350 people on this planet who will have this shoe, it kind of means a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually kind of cool to feel that exclusivity with this. And so, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and double up on these for sure. As far as a couple other details goes, it does come with a Reebok Panini trading card. And I did save this for the camera family so we can go ahead and open this together. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Shout out, man, look, real quick, while I'm opening this, major shout out to the folks at Reebok, man. Guys, keep being creative and doing things like this. Collaborating with brands like a Panini and all that, that's so fire. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got, family. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I, oh shoot, okay. So in the pack, it comes with two Panini trading cards for Allen Iverson. They are individually numbered as well. So this is actually kind of fire. Yo, Panini, Reebok, you guys did your thing on this. So this one is Allen Iverson. Looks like he's wearing some of his throwback Reebok gear from when he was younger. It says Allen Iverson, guard has the Reebok logo on the front. And then on the back, it says Allen Iverson in the early 90s as sportswear companies across the globe pondered the aura of a certain six foot college guard. Reebok asked itself, what if? Question mid would arrive in 1996 at the heart of a basketball footwear revolution. Brands pitched that Allen Iverson was about much more than a basketball sneaker. It was about their commitment to AI, his authentic self and his electric personality personality. That is on the back of the card. And you guys can see my card is actually numbered 820 out of number 999. So that's actually kind of fire. And then on the other card, it just says number 13 right there on the top. So not quite sure on what that one is about, but it just says Allen Iverson introduced by Reebok in 1997. Allen Iverson's signature I3 collection is recognized as one of the earliest and most important crossovers between sportswear and streetwear. I3 is a symbol of Iverson's authentic self who in 2005 will become the target of a new league wide dress code, all the while inspiring generations of players and fans to pave their own path and to live life unapologetically. Really dope that they included these trading cards in the shoe. This this is the box right here. So you guys can get a good look at that. The box is a red and gold Reebok Panini box that you can see right here. Nothing too crazy about it. I mean, it's just got a, a little bit of Reebok logo branding on one side. And then you do have the Panini logo branding on the other side right here. All right, so you guys can see that. 
And you have that Reebok and Panini logo branding as well. Overall family, really, really dope shoe. I think this is gonna be one of those shoes that is gonna be so slept on and it's not gonna be appreciated for years to come. I think it's gonna be one a shoe like that where you're looking at it, you're thinking to yourself, you know what? The shoe is cool, but Matt, eh, I don't know, maybe not for me. And that's cool. Reebok questions aren't for everybody. I just love what I love. <laughs> and so I had to pick this up. And the fact that I have one of 2,350 pairs in the world, yeah, man, had to do it. As soon as this thing dropped, I was on that website. I was on Reebok's website. Like, click, 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 check out. Rebel Fam, in the comment section, let me know your favorite attribute of the Reebok question Panini in its 23.5 colorway. I'm calling it the 23.5 because honestly, that's what the shoe represents. 23 and a half points per game, 2,350 pairs made. So I'm calling this the Reebok question, Panini 23.5. So y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions. Are you a fan of the upper? Are you a fan of the box? Are you a fan of the trading cards? Or are you just a fan of the collab overall? Let me know in the comments section, Rebel Fam. I love you. Yes, the kid is back on the channel. Thank you for just being here, family. Thank you for just holding it down while I was gone for the last couple of weeks saw the channel still growing even though i wasn't here so i gotta tell you rebel fam i love you so much from the bottom of my heart and look this concludes the end of the video family i love you and i'll see you in the next and we out peace